Well, what we're going to do in this tutorial is show you how to renumber fixtures on a pipe. There's a couple of methods of doing this. We're going to cover first the manual method. I'll choose the edit menu and come down here to manual renumber instruments. I'll select that. A message comes up asking you to enter the number that you want to renumber from. Let's renumber starting from number one. So I'll say OK. And notice here in the bottom, our prompt says select the instrument to renumber to one. I'm going to choose this fixture here. I'm going to click it. And you'll see it's now changed to one. If we look back down here on our prompt, it says select the instrument to renumber to two. I'll select two, three, four. Okay, so here's another thing. If I continue to select, I'm going to point on this. That's five, and now it's six. I'm clicking again. Click again, it's seven. Now I'm going to look at it. It says select the instrument to renumber to eight. I'm going to click the, select the right mouse button. It's now seven. Click the, mouse, mouse, the right mouse button again. It's now six. Again, five, four, three. Two, one. Okay, so you can use this to renumber just groups of fixtures. It's also very useful for doing uh, booms and ladders. Now I'm going to show you the second method, and that's the automated method. From the edit menu again, we choose auto renumber instruments. Now watch closely here, because, because this happens automatically. I select auto renumber instruments and Bang. One, two, three, four. It's completed. Now the automatic renumbered instruments use, is uh, useful on two situations, on pipes and on trusses. It does not automatically renumber booms and ladders. But, uh, so if you want to do pipes and trusses automatically, that's the method of doing it.